Hey everyone, this is Steve from Publish Press. And if you want to improve your WordPress publishing, you really should get the Publish Press plugins. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can create more advanced lists in the new Gutenberg editor. If you're using the basic list block, you don't have many options. But with the Publish Press Blocks plugin, you can do all sorts of interesting things with lists. I've shown a few different examples here with different icons, different colors, different sizes. This is all possible with the Publish Press Blocks plugin, which is available for free from WordPress.org. I have a test site here, and I've installed the Publish Press Blocks plugin so I can show you how it works. I'm going to create a new post, and I will call this my post with lists. And if I click on the icon to add a new block, I will search for lists and advanced list is what I need. A, B, C, D. So far, it's looking like a, a regular list because there is a list block available in WordPress by default. However, on the right side, you'll notice first that you can change the icons. And every time you choose an icon, a whole bunch of extra options appear underneath. For example, if you want to choose the star icon, you'll be able to control the size of the icon. And if you make it bigger, for example, 30, you'll notice that they start to perhaps overlap a little. So you may also want to adjust the line height so that they have more spacing. You can adjust the margin so that the text is further away from each of the items. That's probably a little too far. Let me, let me reduce that. You can see it live on the screen. That looks better. And the padding as well. The padding will go around the icon itself. Okay, so the padding again too far. Let me reduce it. Okay, that looks pretty good. So you have all sorts of size controls available with this advanced list block. Let's take a look at the colors. Okay, these are automatically being poured in from the default WordPress theme. You will probably see different colors. They'll be automatically poured in from the theme that you're using. But if you click custom color, you can choose any color that you want for these icons. Okay, let me browse through a few more. Okay, how about the question marks? And in addition to modifying the icon itself, you do get some settings for the text. Let me add a little more. Apple, banana, carrot, and donut. For example, you can add regular bold and italic styles to the text, or you can use the text size option over here in the right sidebar. I've updated the post and let me see it live on the site. And there we go. We have a souped up version of the normal WordPress list block where I have custom icons. Hmm, maybe the icons look a little small compared to the text. And I can go back and change that. Edit post. Let me make the icon size a little better. Let me see. The text size is 41. What happens if I make the icon size into 41 as well? You now have a stylish looking list for your site. If you do want to tweak any of the settings, you can go back. You can choose a different icon. You can choose a different color. And whatever you choose, it's probably going to be quite a lot more interesting than the basic list available in WordPress, which simply offers regular old bullet points. You can see a direct comparison here between the basic list and the advanced list. So Publish Press Blocks comes with at least 20 more of these blocks, which really soup up your experience using the new Gutenberg editor. You can see some more demos 
of these lists in front of you. Publish Press Blocks also allows you to add accordions, buttons, advanced images, tables, columns, contact forms, and much more. If you haven't tried it yet, it's available for free on WordPress.org. Publish Press Blocks. It'll really improve your WordPress publishing experience. 